Hello everyone, uh, welcome. We are in the Blends and Beyond group and I'm also popping this uh, video when it's done over on YouTube uh, so you can find it easily as well. I'm just gonna make sure I'm in the right place so that I can see myself, I can, I can see my comments. Yes, I can, fantastic. I really should start scheduling these, but I never know whether um, it's going to turn into a thing or not. So it is a spontaneous thing. If you are joining me, say hello. <clears throat> now, I um, I have to make three cards with the Simply Sparkling stamp set. Uh, I do thank you tutorials for my customers who purchase with me each month. And this month, um, I do them with Lisa Bernard, who is in the group here. And uh, so this month is the Simply Sparkling um, bundle that we are focusing on and I need to colour for it. So I thought, why not uh, just come on live and colour it? So, you know, do all the things. So that way, if you do happen to get my tutorial next month, then uh, this is a beginner level colouring and I'm just going to colour the can uh, today. So I've chosen um, pumpkin pie and Smoky Slate to do the can side. Now I will mention that uh, I have changed the nibs on my pumpkin pie. So these ones are the Ohuhu nibs. I said in my video the uh, that I did a couple of months back that the Copics were cheaper. Then I went back to Amazon and every time I look at the Copic prices on Amazon, they are different prices. Sometimes they're really cheap. Sometimes they're like, what is going on with the prices? But the Ahuhu ones have stayed the same price the entire time I have looked at them. And I don't think there's anything wrong with their nibs either. So just an FYI, um, because you will want to use the brush marker end for this can because it's so big. You don't want to use the bullet end. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my uh, dark pumpkin pie. And I am just going to, uh, and I'm just doing little flicks. And I'm just doing a really, really fine um, flick down here. Like as in not a very, like I'm not bringing it right into the middle. I'm just bringing a small flick. And the other great thing with, with these, and I, know, I know I shouldn't be bagging Stampin' Up nibs, but I'm going to, is that you can actually get right up on the tip and not damage them. So there's my first little run of uh, colour dark down that edge. I do like to swing around because I find it easier to flick away from myself. Now this side, I'm actually going to make them a little bit bigger and try and bring them in to the middle a bit more. So um, just going to run that along there. So most of it is a wrist flicking motion. Um, I don't know whether you can see my wrist in there, but it does actually like a hand and, and wrist flick. Okay. I'm going to come back with, actually, no, I'll, I'll come back with my dark afterwards. Let's do our light uh, to start with. And so I'm going to flick and I'm going to work fairly quickly. So just a little bit. So going over what I've done and extending out a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to swing around because that's easiest for me and I'm going to do the same. So I'm just going to go over the top of these guys. Just sort of to keep it wet and then I'm going to come back and flick. And I'm going to flick a little bit further. Try and keep them even like so that they all fall in the same place so that there's not too much jaggedy going on. Okay, and then I'm going to come back with my, I'm going to do my light again and I'm just going to take it. This side I'm not going to take too far out, but when I do the other side, I'll bring it out again. And that's just tone on tone blending then. Okay, so if you can... Bring it out a little bit further. Okay. And then I'm going to come in with my dark again. And 
perhaps not so much on this side. I'll just go down the, down the edge here. So I do do a fair bit of layering when I'm doing my blends. And when I do this side, I'm going to come in, not flick out as far as what I did originally. And this is a fairly big area to colour as well. So you can see we're starting to get that little bit of... Um, ombre look starting that blend is starting to happen i am having trouble talking and coloring at the same time i think it's concentration and then i'm going to uh, flick back again close that gap again even more And you can see how layering on top of each other, see how this layer, because this area has got a lot of color on it and it's a lot darker than this area. So you can just keep building up your blends. It's fine to do that. And I just go back and forth with my light and my dark. Okay, so you can see that starting to happen. And then I'm going to slowly work my way to closing this gap. And because we've got quite a few colors down, quite a few layers, we can actually close that gap quite nicely and still have that ombre effect. So that's not closed all the way just yet. I'm going to come with my dark again. And my dark on this side again. because I just want those layers to get darker and darker. Okay, and then this final one, I should be able to swoosh over the entire area. And whoops, go outside the line, careful with that, and bring all of that together. Okay, so we've got that nice ombre look going on. Okay, there we go. I think that's a pretty good blend. I'm just going to try and see if I can get rid of that. I think orange might not want to come off too easily, but I'll probably end up die cutting it, so that's okay. A little bit of a mess there. It happens to us all. All right, so how's that for a little bit of an ombre look? And you can just go backwards and forwards if, like, if there's a little spot there that you want to deepen up. You can just keep layering and layering and layering. It's not going to be an issue. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's move on to, I think I've got black on my thing there as well. Let's move on to the can rims. Okay, and I will do you will be using my uh, bullet tip for this one. So we're going to go in the same type of pattern that we did before. So with our dark, only a little bit on this side because it would um, be a bit silly if we brought it all the way out. Okay, and then just going backwards and forwards. Again with the light and dark, just backwards and forwards. Okay, and then around the rim, the top of the can. Probably going to be a bit darker back here so I'm actually going to put a little bit 
make it a little bit darker back there. And then on the inside, we're probably going to be a little bit darker as well. So especially in those little areas there. Bit of highlight going well hmm, not sure that we will have too much highlight but we'll see what we can it's quite dark okay then I've got the lids on the right end I am going to bring in just a little bit of pencil now. Let me get that out of the way. And I'm going to use Prisma colors and I'm just going to pick, um, I think I'm going to go for a reddish color. Which one shall I go for? Um, I haven't tested any of these guys out. So maybe I will do that. So what I normally do to test my pencils out is just to lay down a little bit of a swatch. And that way I can pop my pencils over the top and see what I'm going to, what's going to be too, maybe too red or too orange. Like I don't think that this orange is going to get picked up. That one's quite bright. But I think I do have a deeper brownie one. What's you? Dark purple. Purple would probably work nicely over the top too. Let's try that one. Maybe I'll go for that first red. I'm not real, like I'm just learning pencils. I'm just starting to learn pencils. So maybe I'll go for, I think it was the, I think it was this one, which is a Crimson Lake. I think, nope, that wasn't it. It was this one here, which is Crimson Red. Oh, I do have a Poppy. Oop. Mm. It's very bright. You can see I haven't color, I haven't sharpened these ones yet. Uh, carmine red, probably too red. Yep. All right, let's go for this one here. And I am just going to add just a little bit, very very lightly down the edge here. Okay, and then with this one, I'm just going to come around and bring it down. So can you see how that's sort of changing the shape of this a little bit already? We're trying to get our can to be curved. Okay, and then I'm just going to come and I'm going to do a really fine line along here. Okay, 
I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure on. Okay, and then we can go under the rim a little bit. So I might come in with a black and do a little bit of that, or a grey. Actually, maybe I'll do my grey. And... I'll use a warm grey, I think. I think I've mixed up my... Like, I think that... Um, actually, this one here. What's this one? This one is a warm grey, 70%. So I'll just add a little bit... Uh, just to pop that a little bit. Make it sort of like the cans coming around. And a little bit under here. Okay, and what else will I do? Okay, need to come back. It's just playing backwards and forwards. grumbling so I think that's it maybe we'll put a little bit of um, let's see if we can put a little bit of probably probably choosing wrong colors um, actually I've got pencils behind me as well that I'm working on for something else so Anyway, there is a little bit of colouring in for you, basic beginner style, well, almost basic beginner. If you didn't put the pencils on there, then you'd definitely be at beginner stage. So a little bit, just a little bit of additional um, adding on to that. So there we go. Now I've got to go and create with it, see what else I can add to it and... Uh, Start creating with my cards. I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm going to put the citruses with it um, to put to the side. Such a cute stamp set. Very fun. We don't call we don't call them soda pop or um, what else do you guys call them? Soda soda pop and or is it soda and the other word is pop, not soda pop together. We call them a soft drink because they've got no no alcohol in them. Soft drink. <laughs> as opposed to a hard drink. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching everyone and we'll catch you later. Have a go at it if you've got it, but make sure that you do, you'll definitely want to use your brush tip um, markers for this one because it is just too, it is too big an area to use your bullet tip. Okay, thanks for watching. See you later.